In calculus, the chain rule is a formula that expresses the derivative of the composition of two differentiable functions f and g in terms of the derivatives of f and g. With other words, the chain rule provides us a technique for finding the derivative of composite functions, with the number of functions that make up the composition determining how many differentiation steps are necessary. Topic 2.4 The Chain Rule As the name of the rule indicates, this is a chain. And we apply it when we have a function or the function. For example, if we have a function f, which is for example, function of the u and at the same time u is a function of x. So in this situation we apply the chain rule. The chain rule says that the derivative of the function u with respect to the x will be equal to the derivative of the function in u with respect to the u times the derivative of the u function in x with respect to the x. More advanced definition uses the, the criterion of the composite function. So if we have a function f of gx, in this case, the derivative, you know, the derivative can be represented by this way. Prime symbol. The derivative will be the derivative of the f in gx now we can write with respect to the x times the derivative of the g x with respect to the x. Now let's see one example. Considering that we are looking for the derivative of that function. In order to get the derivative of that function using the power rule what we learned before we have to expand this trinomial we have to perform the, the, the multiplication square it so let's multiply x2 minus 5x plus 5 times x2 minus 5x plus 5 etc 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 in order to save time here is the operation and here our final multiplication now you can apply the power rule. The derivative, what we are looking for, can be written as 4x cubed minus 10 times 3, 30x squared plus 35 times 2, 70x minus 50. We have the reason. We have the reason, if we want in more compact form, we can factor. So in order to get the final answer in more compact form, we can factor, which is not easy. It's not easy. We have to apply factor theorem, remainder theorem. It's very large work. Let's see now how we will proceed. If applying the chain rule, if applying the chain rule, we can solve this problem very fast. So please consider that u is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 5. Uh, H will be U square. Okay? Of course, we have here U in X, we have here H 
in you. So now we can apply the chain rule exactly as we have here. And the only difference is that we are using letter H, letter H is the only difference. So we get the result in seconds. This will be two x squared minus five x plus five times the derivative of u, which is two x minus five. We finish very fast. We got the same result with the advantage that the result is given in factored form. We don't need to apply factor theorem, remain the theorem, all, the all required theorem to perform a, a factorization of the third degree polynomial, which is not easy factorable. Now let's see some examples on, on the tablet follow the notebook directions. Example number one. Find the derivative of the function h in x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 5 cube. We solved a similar example during the lecture, what square. Now, remember that we can consider u is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 5. In this case, our h in x will be written as u3. So, dh with respect to the u times the u with respect to the x will be our final result. It is recommended that you write here u to avoid any confusion. We did a replacement. This is u the u the x will be 2x minus 5 and dh du will be 3u2 remember it's recommended that you use here u to correctly represent the operation now we replace our values. So dh in x, dx can be written as 3u2 times 2x minus 5. Finally, we have 3. Now write u x2 minus 5x plus 5. So the final result will be that one. So good that we can review the book in our lectures. Example number two y equals to square root of x plus e to the x. One more time I will write full representation. u is equal to x plus e to the x. And y will be u to one half. Our operation will be the derivative of u to one half 
with respect to back to the u times the u the x resulting that our result will be one half u to minus one half this is the derivative we are subtracting one times one plus e to the x we learned before that the derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x now we replace the variable we substituted before so we get one half minus will be the radical will be on the denominator square root of x plus e to the x times so it goes to the numerator one one plus e to the x this is our final result example number three y equals to one minus three x to the third power times two x two plus three to the fifth power now we have two functions the product of two functions requires product rule for finding the derivative and the independent derivative of each one requires chain rule so we have a special example we have to solve it using two rules product rules and chain rule the product rule rem remember you of two functions of f in x times g in x can be written as f in x times the derivative of g in x with respect to the x plus g in x times the derivative of f in x with respect to the x we have fx and gx if considering that this is f in x and this one g in x now we have to find the derivative of each one so the derivative of fx is represented by this way with prime will be applying chain rule times 1 minus 3x squared times the derivative of the u u function in this case is not u function is fx the internal package of the function one the derivative of one will be zero minus three minus three now let's see the derivative of g in x so it will be five times two x two plus three to the fifth to the four power to the four power times the derivative of the of the function u which in this case is gx so the internal package is four x now we can do the substitution we can replace in this equation let's write so now we can substitute in this equation let's do fx which will be 1 minus 3x cubed times the derivative of gx which will be 5 times 2x squared plus 3 to the 4 power times 4x plus now the function in g 2x squared plus 3 to the fifth power times the derivative of fx which is 3 times 1 minus 3x squared times minus 3 we have the solution and now we can simplify first of all let's perform some 
So multiplication, simple multiplication, 4 times 5, 20, x times 1 minus 3, x cubed, times 2x squared plus 3 to the 4 power plus 3 times 3 9 but negative so minus minus 9 times 2x2 plus 3 to the 5th power times 1 minus 3x so finally we can we can rewrite this equation considering the common factor and get final solution like this. Example number four, this one. Y equals to x squared times natural logarithm of x squared. One more time, we have product rule. Two functions. We can consider that this is f in x and this is g in x. In order to solve natural logarithm of x squared, we have to apply chain rule. We have to consider that this is u. But if we apply the property of the logarithm, we can rewrite as 2 natural logarithm of x. And now we don't need to apply the chain rule. We have a simple expression. And you know that the derivative of natural logarithm of x is equal to 1 over x. We introduced this derivative in our previous lecture. We will demonstrate it in chapter 3. So now we can write this expression as 2 natural logarithm of x times x squared, which is simplest expression. The derivative will be applying product rule. So fx times the derivative of natural logarithm of x, 1 over x, plus the function gx to ln of x times the derivative of fx, which is 2x. Simplify. So x2, x, uh, 2x plus 2x times 2 ln of x. This is our final. Oh, we can do one more simplification. y prime equals to 2x times 1 plus 2 natural logarithm of x. Final result. So let's continue with the next topic. So example, example number 96 from the notebook. We can consider that in this case we have two functions, f in x and g in x. Multiplication. So we will apply the product rule. And in this case, the derivative of h with respect to the x will be f in x 
the derivative times gx plus gx the derivative times f dx. In some cases, we can represent using d dx or simple hx prime, which is also the derivative. So let's calculate the derivative of fx to replace in that equation. So this is 2x plus 2 times the derivative of x plus 2, which is 1. And now g in x, the derivative of g in x, we can write x minus 1 to minus 1 and apply the power rule directly, or we can apply the quotient rule. If applying the quotient rule will be x minus 1 squared times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0, times the denominator x minus 1 minus the derivative of the denominator, which is 1, times 5. Resulting that we have minus 5 over x minus 1 squared. And now we can replace all these elements. So f in x will be 2 times x plus 2. And now gx, which is 5 over x minus 1, times now gx. Sorry, plus g prime x, which is minus 5 over x minus 1 squared times fx. And fx will be x plus 2 squared. What to do? Some simplification. Let's take common factor x plus 2. Now we have on the first 2 times 5, 10 divided by x minus 1 plus plus minus 5 times x plus 2, one stay here, one goes outside, divided by x minus 1 squared. So we can, we can solve it by creating a common denominator. Let's write this way, x plus 2, times 10 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 times x minus 1 will be squared. Plus, now we have common denominator x minus 1 squared, and here we have minus 5 x Plus two. Plus two. We have common denominator x minus one squared, and on the top we have ten x minus ten minus five x minus ten. All of them 
times x to the almost 2. Let's continue the simplification. 5x minus 20 times x plus 2. And I divide x minus 1 squared. Resulting that we have here 5x squared minus 20x plus 10x minus 40. And I divide x minus 1 squared. Finally, we have 5x squared minus 10x minus 40 divided by x minus 1 squared, which can be accepted as our final answer. 